Hi, I'm Julie and I'm a speech pathologist. The video you're about to see contains information on how to make story times more inclusive at your library. We all know the value of story times in supporting young children's interactions, language and literacy. Every child has the right to enjoy and participate in story time at their local library. The first time I went to story time with my son, he was four, diagnosed with autism, and I thought, we can do this, this is fine. I watched all the other kids sit, and he did too, for about 10 seconds. And then it was just chaos. The librarian was lovely, but she didn't know what to do. It was, he was just too hard for them. And we left. We hope this video provides you with useful resources to support the young children you're working with within your organisation. Hi, my name is Mariam and I'm an occupational therapist at Palm Tree. Occupational therapists enable people to participate in meaningful activities. At Plum Tree, we work closely with families to create individualised supports to promote skill development for optimal engagement. Children have varying levels of needs, and as a result, your story time, engagement and learning may look different for each child. For some children, engagement may present in the form of attentive listening, sitting still, making eye contact, asking or answering questions, and for others, it may present as walking around the room, swaying, rocking, lying down, vocalising sounds or flapping their hands. Some ideas to promote inclusion at your story time are chat to the family and get an idea of their child's needs. Provide carpet circles to support children to understand where they may be seated during story time. These can also be textured such as with sequence material for added tactile sensory experiences. For those who have a preference to keep their hands busy, using visual schedules. This supports predictability of routines and also breaks down activities into smaller task goals. Provide tactile fidget toys for children to hold. This allows children the opportunity to access sensory experiences with minimal distractions. You might also use props, which can help with engagement and attention that are specifically related to the story that you have chosen. Adopting a permissive culture where engagement looks different for everyone. One where vocal sounds are acceptable in the environment for children who may vocalize during participation or movement for those who find it challenging to remain seated. Hi, my name is Jodie Lawton and I'm a speech pathologist from Plum Tree. When I choose a storybook for story time, some things that I think about that help promote uh, inclusion and participation for all children of all different abilities at story time. There's some simple things that uh, make this easier. So choosing big books can be really useful because obviously they're easier to see, they help grab and keep children's attention. Um, books also that have quite simple pictures that again, they're not too busy. It can be easier for children to kind of focus on uh, and you know point things out. Uh, we also like to use, if possible, some props. So you might have some little puppets that go with these that children can touch, feel, hold, take turns. Uh, it's another way of keeping and promoting engagement and participation for all. Another thing that we consider is Repetition and rhyme in story time. Again, it's a really great way for all children to, to help them understand, anticipate, and uh, helps them just anticipate sounds and words uh, and make sense of language. find this video useful for your organisation in supporting the learning of young children. 